right. So, oh. and we're back. Uh, yes. So I guess the uh, the the camera died because I'm not going to name any names, but someone here didn't plug it in. Vito. Where? It, yes, yeah, yeah, that's what Vito's it was. I, I know Vito definitely. No, did. That Vito, was Vito. Yeah, that was that was his <laughs> job. That was his, that was his job, and he was supposed to plug it in, and then he didn't. Uh, yeah, so and he left right afterwards. He did. Without, he did. He was, just, he was like, "I'm out of here, guys." He really, he I'm gonna really put this camera here, not plug it in, does. and then I'm gonna go. Yeah. yeah. Uh, to that's, be fair, he had like. That's you never trust a Corleone. That's 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 what it is. And he was, and he walked out with uh, with two ladies and hopped in the limo. Yeah. So he was like, "Hey, you guys want to see my Joker impression? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna yeah. be here for ten minutes, not do anything, and piss everyone off." But like, oh, that's pretty good, actually. <laughs> that's pretty, pretty on point. Um, so uh, we, we've got we've got about uh, half an hour, twenty minutes left. Um, so let's let's talk about the the um, the cannon fodder in the movie. So there's the scene where we have you know all of these mutated human rock. Thingies, right? Yeah. Um, and then we've got this this uh, SEAL team, or you know, uh, yeah, we've got like a SEAL team, and we've got the Suicide Squad. And then all of a sudden, they're being attacked. So everyone just takes out their gun and starts unloading on these people. And it seems like the bullets are going right through them. They're still attacking. We have no idea what's going to stop them. And then all of a sudden, you know, the Suicide Squad is like, I guess I got to fight. And then everybody individually starts kicking everybody's asses. Right. Uh, right. Their guns start working. All of a sudden, uh, like baseball bats punches, start working. Punches start working. Like, punches bullets start... don't work, but fists too. Yeah, but then all of a sudden, bullets start working because Deadshot jumps up on a car, like, yeah. all and badass. Kills all of them. Yeah. And, yeah, and just go, yeah. Yeah. Like, just put, and you're just like, wait, but I thought everybody... they were invincible. Well, yeah. yeah. His guns. That's right. why they but needed also, him But also, like, the fact that they looked like, like, they're, like, gooey caviar blobs in clothing, but then all of a sudden, when they got hit eventually they became rocks I was like yeah. really confused about the physics like the consistency of these like she's not literally, a science major yeah. guys literally no, no, Sajana is like, the only one who should have been able to do right, it right because she's got her magic sword yeah, yeah right. she's got a magic sword yeah. but she's but, busy crying but meanwhile uh, Harley Quinn her husband who, who has <laughs> yeah. no superpowers you know right. her only superpower is crazy I guess yeah, yeah. Um, and and she uses her baseball bat and she can wield it like a mofo. And yeah, right. Yeah. She's, she's cool. swinging like Ty Cobb. It's unreal. And I'm like, and that stops them. A Louisville slugger. Right. Yeah. A Louisville yeah, the slugger. Bat, the bat slugs. works, but yeah, none of these trained Navy SEALs can do anything. Right. Exactly. Yeah. That's yeah. you know, no and, and I'm just like, yeah. what? what? Like, the gooey like caviar that, monsters that don't like wood. Works, you know, like, a boom, yeah. If it had an exploding boomerang. Also, maybe. the fact that El Diablo yeah. was like, I refuse to fight in that scene, and then eventually. Torches them later in the building. Like, right. what, like that's the easiest the one solution. Yeah. You know, right? Like, you know, his whole thing. Why? Like, you know, you see the destruction. You see, like, oh well, I guess the planet's gonna destroy it by this uh, beam in the sky. Nope, I don't want to fight. Yep. Mm -hmm. yeah. You're just like really. I also this was I mentioned by someone who I'm totally forgetting online, but like the like he's a fire god and uses fire, but somehow none of that triggers the bomb in his neck. Like. How does that? Sure. Yeah. Like, Shit. How does God that not it, like right. when he turns into the big fire thing? How does that not explode? Or if like that doesn't affect him, then why does that other bomb outside later hurt him? Like what? That doesn't make sense. They don't. They're not even following the laws of their own universe. Well, like, usually, you know, so like if we don't actually see anybody die, then they're right. not. They're right. Not right. I know the rumor is so, he's coming back, but it did. It knocked him out of the fight. You know, right. which it and, shouldn't have. If the, the bomb right. that should blow his head off didn't do anything. Like, yeah, and and if you get rid of that guy, then literally nobody on the Suicide Squad. Died. Yeah. yeah. And they also have no power. Well, except for Slipknot. Yeah. They don't <laughs> really, right. No one on the Suicide Squad has a power. I'm sorry, but like, uh, I mean, should I never thought they were going to lose. Right. Yeah. yeah. You were, I was not worried about them once. No. Yeah. I mean, in some of the Marvel movies, you're like, oh, who, who might die? Right. Because yeah. this is, it seems like everything is insane. Yeah, like yeah. you right. introduce us to yeah. Groot, and then you kill Groot, and you're like, oh, oh my god. Then they yeah. bring is Groot it? back as a little baby Groot. But, exactly, yeah. and that's what. But we actually well, you actually that. feel yeah. that for the for right. the time. You were we were really upset when Groot sacrificed himself. But at yeah. no point in time is Will Smith ever in any trouble in any movie nope. he's in. Never. That's in his contract. Yeah. You know it, exactly. Yeah. You know you just like, like look. I just gotta look badass. He's like my only threat is Zeno. <laughs> 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 all of us, all of us yeah. are pretty scared. The, 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 the Church of Scientology is actually kind of. Yeah, yeah. They, they probably would be listening. Actually, they yeah. are everywhere. Yeah, we are in careful. LA. That's right. But, um, but yeah, so so uh, those those magical villains that lead to nowhere, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, and um, let's see, what else? Okay, was I there? say like Boomerang leaves 
and then decides to come back for no reason. Like his, he wanted to get out the whole time, and then somehow has a magical reason to want to come back and help them. Like that's not been his character the entire time. But also, Someone his only pink also his only course. skill is throwing a boomerang and apparently magic having an endless supply of beer. Like, I'm sorry, like how? But like how? <laughs> he just keeps pulling beers out of his coat. And you're like, so <laughs> we've got a Latino gang member. We've got an Australian who Alcoholic. loves beer and throws fucking boomerang. Like how? Yeah. Fucking bigoted and racist. Like, well, right, and Killer yeah. Croc is like likes BET. Like he that yeah, a right? person who was good at martial right. arts. Well, yeah, like, I right, well, and that. also the story, like the woman who's like like set, like marries her sword. Like what for right. her dead husband? Right. Like, how Madam Butterfly of you? Like what is, <laughs> that, what is happening here? It's it, it struck me as so racist. Like that, that. Like it's it's so it's so racist and like. You, like you said earlier, like the the violence against women that just is so fucking cringeworthy. I'm like, is that a joke? Yeah. So much Kyle, I saw the movie with Kyle, and he spent the whole time like watching it, like Kevin McAllister in Home Alone, just like I'm, I'm, just like hands like this, like I on his head. I couldn't like, handle it. He I was, handle he it. was yeah. upset. Yeah, like the first time, I uh, like I said, I just thought it was mediocre because the first time I went and I was like, okay, well this is an action movie with zero twists. Like yeah. it's right. There's yeah, no, no fucking twist. twists. No twist yeah, at all. and the the one they say is a twist is not a st- yeah. twist. We all know what the Joker say? does not die. Right. So who cares? Right. He doesn't who cares? die. Nothing really, happens with him in the movie. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And and here's the thing. Like you know, I understand that the Joker can get out of a lot of situations. Yeah. Right. You know, he he is who he is, and he can do that. But when we literally see the helicopter fall from the sky, right, and then right. Harley, Har- okay, so Harley jumps out of the helicopter or falls or is thrown from the helicopter. Maybe that's yeah. her superpower. She rolls, gets up, right, in her heels, and then keeps running. Right? That's so a right. superpower. Then, I didn't, I didn't well, know right. she was part her, like, her, as well. Right. Her like yeah. fighting skills make it seem like I'm didn't who who trained her in that? Did they, yeah. was there some mon, like Rocky montage with her and the Joker where she's like punching bags of meat and like getting really <laughs> right. good at fighting? Right. And, and, and also like, like you know, so was she a a, a psychology slash gymnast in college? Right. right? So yeah. like where <laughs> did she learn all this Cirque du Soleil? Did stuff? it all just come from that U pit that she got? Yeah. 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 And then that give like, her the powers? It's the same. Yeah. Same thing that like right. when Keanu Reeves gets plugged into the Matrix, they're like, "It's a machine that triggers every one of his muscles." Like when he was when he was like down or like all fucked up, and then he gets up and he can do everything. That's the machine they must have plugged her into. We don't even see that. They don't even fucking. They don't legitimize anything that happens in this movie. It just happens. They just assume you'll go along with it. It's, yeah. it's yeah. magical realism. It's a hundred years of solitude. Yeah, let's no, really, don't don't really disrespect magical realism. I'm not. Hey, yo, I'm not. I'm just saying. Gabriel like, Garcia Marquez ain't walking through that door. I'm just saying. <laughs> right. Um, but I think you're but, smarter than me. No, no, not true. Not he true. just knows titles of books. He hasn't actually. I haven't read. read. I haven't oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Everyone in that name. Yeah. Everyone to, in that to book be has fair, the same name. Uh, uh, that was that was uh, one of Oprah's uh, book club. I have yeah. 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 He loves loves the. That's how one. Well, that's how. That's right. That's how one and I met. Yeah. We both want a new car. Yeah. I was I was working at Barnes and Noble and he was like, I need Oprah books. I was like, really, dude? And then yeah, get away from me. But every day, here we are. You know, he's another one. He just he does. Yeah. And again, he doesn't read them. He just collects them. Yeah. He smells them. They just put them in a shelf and be like, yeah. look, I read. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. That's yeah, more, isn't that what everyone stickers. does with their fucking books? You're like, yeah. ah, look at that. I got Thomas Pinchon up there. I read yeah. that. I'm like, I've got yeah. Terry Brooks, Terry yeah. Pratchett. Only the Terry. Like, yeah. Only yeah. Terry. Terry. I've got, I've got Infinite Jest. Never opened it. Yeah. Got to keep it pristine condition. Not Seriously. Yeah. First uh, condition. <laughs> I wear a bandana sometimes. It's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> On my leg, because I'm Punky Rooster. Um, that's so, like a turn. That's, that was, that's a bigger twist than right, right? Yeah. Yeah. Comes full circle. Uh, yeah. I had a crush on Punky Brewster when I was a kid. Right, but who didn't? Whoa. Yeah. Um, she was my favorite. You know. oh, well, didn't. It was so tough. You know. I loved that. That's true. I wanted to be her. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, you know, so so like you know, Punky Brewster. We're like, yeah, yeah, she was awesome, right? Nothing in this movie. We're like, ah. Yeah, yeah. should have been in there. It, yeah. it, we yeah. were all so excited. She could have been. She we were she one of the members. She might have been there. You know what? Or, she might as well. You know, right. uh, we so little, wait. Doesn't she her, have? Her you know? Yeah, maybe she's still. If we're talking about yeah. other like. Yeah. If we're talking about other people from like '90s TV shows that would like 
Zach Morris would have been more important right. on Suicide Squad. He, he can, can stop time. time. Yeah. No, wait, but that would have been an insane superpower. There's like, there's no way that you could have him on the Suicide Squad. That's like Batman level. That's it's, Superman that's, level. That's, that's, that's like the Flash. Chandra's like was originally that. on the squad. And Chandra's is on the squad. And she's like a goddess super being. Like, they, right. Yeah, that's like we were saying. Like, why would they have anyone else on the squad? Like, as powerful as Dr. Manhattan. Like, actually. Yeah. But that was the thing. Like, I didn't, like, no one in the Watchmen was a superhero either, except for mm-hmm. Dr. Manhattan, who actually had. Every power known to human, right? Like, and, but that was kind Baby of the Dick. point, so right? Them, yeah, you know? that was the, well, right. the, exactly that's the point to that. More real world, like vigilante, yeah, like that, right. yeah, so they're, exactly. yeah, they're yeah. selling, well, they're selling and, a product, and, and, they're selling, and, and, right. and absolutely with the with the color scheme, it, it they were definitely trying to channel Watchmen in, mm-hmm. in this movie. Um, because Zack Snyder only Zach works with one palette, yeah, exactly. Yeah, and that's neon, right? Like you know, he, he yeah. got he got the the the. Uh, what, what was it? Um, what was that awful girls one uh, that he did? The no, that oh, was, sucker punch, sucker, sucker punch. punch. That was his uh, like sepia version. That's his other palette. Right, he's yeah. Not, yeah. He's got one or the other. No, yeah. that was that was him trying to be Baz Luhrmann. There was some right. good fights. Yeah, yeah but, that was. The, punch, did you know that sucker punch was a musical? What? Um, yeah, they had. Yeah, I mean, you can tell when they had was, their like kidding. cabaret. Yeah, yeah. It was it was a musical, and then thing. and yeah. Warner Brothers was like, yeah, that's not gonna happen. So they had to cut out all of the yeah. songs. But no they way. kept they kept yeah. the cabaret setting for some they, of the They kept the cabaret they, setting. Oh, like they keep some of the songs on so the soundtrack. That's yeah. insane. Do you wonder if just Warner Brother ruined everything? Well, that's what this fucking, that's what Gracie Zach Law's letter Snyder talks about. Has over, yeah, what control like, does over he the have? people at, at the WB that, like, they will never it's let get rid of him. Like, what's If we're going to get back to this happen? letter, now that's, that's well, a well, like, well, What the fuck? Why does he still have a job? Yeah, like, well, what, what happens in Hollywood is, you know, you become hot for a second, and then you get a really good uh, uh, agent, and he negotiates this insane 10 year deal. Yeah. And, you know, first look or whatever. And then, you know, at the time, Warner Brothers was like, well, shit, you made a shit ton of money with 300. We're going to give you Watchmen. We're going to give you the keys to the kingdom. And he's like, all right, fine. So he signs all these contracts 10, 15 years ago. And now Warner right. Brothers is like, well, we can't. Like, they don't want to lose more money. Three hundred. I don't know. I feel like, I feel like, like Kevin time. Sujahara and like Zack Snyder went to Vegas and like murdered a hooker together. So now they have some <laughs> sort of like oh, blood oh, yeah. oath where yeah, like, like Kevin's like, I got to work together. Like, he's got to rat me out. He's going to rat me out. To be fair, Hollywood runs on dead hookers. Exactly. Right? Yeah. Like, there are dead hookers. That's what all of them do. Peter Jackson murdered so many hookers. Yeah. Like, I didn't want to say anything. There's like a dead hooker pit. A hooker, a hooker for every dwarf. In the <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Especially the ones with the pretty faces. Oh, oh yeah. All the could sexy, make all the dwarves oh, yeah. ugly. The right? sexy, they could make three or four sexy no, ass the, dwarves. Well, there was, just, there was the one sexy dwarf. I mean, I don't yeah. know who else you were into, but yeah, why was there a sexy dwarf? That's a whole other topic. Why was there a sexy dwarf in the yeah. Hobbit movies? Yeah, it made no sense. Yeah. Uh, I did not Or Hobbits that looked pretty decent. I only saw. I saw them all because I'm a huge one. Tolkien fan, and yeah. I was like raging. Real offend, real offended. Radagast, yeah. really? Where, where the fuck? I, I honestly, I tried, I tried to get into into the Hobbit books, but I couldn't because I'm like Gandalf, you're a wizard, and you can't what magic missile. That's a level one spell, dude. Really, you can't call one of those. Good call. You know, you and shit. and you he know. chose not to. He didn't have to do shit. Oh no, he yeah. and but so he's just like Inferno in this movie. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, basically, ah, choose yeah. not to do it. Yeah, cool. yeah. And, until until it matters at the end. Yeah. Um, so you it's know, all about timing. So so Suicide Squad. <laughs> a wizard is never time. late, nor is he early. Oh boy. <laughs> um, so it. we um, the the uh, the movie was not very good. Right? No. <laughs> 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 I think we've established that, guys. Fuck you. So we've established <laughs> so this movie was <laughs> not good. It was not. It was not good. Um, and we are now getting, an, you know, we're getting Justice League, we're getting Wonder Woman. Like, these movies have to come out. I don't know what to do, because, you know, I want to be supportive of the things I like, so but good. I think, God yeah, and it. Wonder Woman's trailer it looked it dope. Does. It does. That she put that letter in there, yeah. though, makes me nervous. Because yeah, right. now am I going to go spend money yeah. and find out how bad well, it sucks? Uh, to, to yeah. be yeah. fair, I'm going to spend the money anyways. Yeah. yeah. Right? You know, so, like, well, that's what they're on every one of us to do. That's what they're saying. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's like, they don't care. They're like, we know nerds will pay for this. But it does. It doesn't matter if it's Garbage. Did you see how much it dropped on the second? Right. Yeah. Second yeah. It, it was like it was like fifty three percent, and then yeah. like sixty four percent the second week. Yeah. yeah. So like I I I waited you know till Monday to see the movie. Like I didn't watch it on opening weekend because I know that that is how they judge their box office and stuff. So I was like, I'm not going to watch this movie on opening weekend. I don't want to support it in that fashion. Right. I'm going to yeah. wait until yeah. Monday. Yeah. Same thing with Wonder Woman. I will pay to go see it. I will go see it after opening weekend. Right. Justice League like. I know it's going to be bad, but I still want to see it on screen. 
You know, um, and it's, it's the fucking it's the trick they play on you though. Yeah. I again, we're talking like fucking Stockholm syndrome. Like I don't know it's gonna like I know it's gonna be bad logically, but I don't feel in my bones How come they got that it's gonna to be bad. Like I, I don't think it's know totally it. Be bad. <laughs> I mean, have you guys watched the, the Flash will, TV though. show at all? No. I yes. tried. I, mean, I have not. I'm not. I, I it's so know. good. It's great. It's funny. Is this, it's a, silly. this is a CW property. Yes. yes. Arrow, CW. Arrow has finally gotten good. It was bad at first. Arrow is really like, bad. I, I skipped. I, I I did not watch any of the WB shows until Flash came out. So yeah. like the first what three or four seasons of Arrow didn't watch. Don't care to you watch. Don't need to don't watch care. them. The first two seasons were pretty bad, mm. and then it started getting better. The fight scenes are good. If you're into fight scenes, and I'm into fight scenes a lot. Like I I, I love like a martial lot. arts fight scenes. Sure, a sure. Blood blitz. <laughs> No, I seriously watch some weird. I'll watch. I'll watch martial arts movies that are random just because I'm like, okay, well, Donnie Yen's in it. I'll I'll check it out. Yeah, Yeah. sure. Don the Dragon Wilson is it? Oh, Don the Dragon Wilson. He's uh, he's lame. Guys, can we not forget Cynthia Rothrock? All right, come on. What can we keep it in your pants? Cynthia Rothrock was good though, actually. <laughs> See, <laughs> really shoot me down. And you're like, what are you negging me now? Yeah. Come on. Uh, okay, so so what do you now? Well, some um, way I can get you to make out with me. <laughs> <laughs> just ask. You your just, word, just ask. Your oh my god. Um, so, <laughs> so, me, you so at the shit. end of of uh, Batman vs Superman, we see Batman trying to begin getting the Justice League together. Yeah. Which of course is the least right. Batman thing yeah. ever, right? Yeah. yeah. And then in the Justice League trailer, we get Batman uh, going up to everybody and making. Jokes, right? Like he, Batman's just, hilarious. Yeah, yeah, right. Like that's, that's what Batman not, is known for. Yeah, his, right. his jokes, his tight and, yeah. and, and and <laughs> wanting to get a team together, right? Yeah, right. Yeah. Like those he are the furthest team. things from him, and yet because we have Ben Affleck. You know, yeah, Warner Brothers is like, hey, you know what? Yeah, we he has to be the movie star. Yeah. Yeah. He has to be Bruce Wayne, and Bruce Wayne has to now gather the Justice League. And I'm just like, well, do you guys not know who these people you, are? Yeah, right. that's they the don't thing. Know. That's actually my biggest complaint yeah. about DC in general, and my my biggest compliment to Marvel is what what DC has done is ignored the characters being the characters. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And what Marvel has done is done things like, okay, Iron Man is a brilliant drunk guy who builds a suit of armor. And then tries to be a hero and fucks up. Yeah, I mean, really, that's yep. what lot, that comes all down to yeah. all the time. All the time, you know. Yeah. And Captain America is a guy who believes in the justice and and rightness, no matter what, all the time. And he's going to focus on that and he's going to make it happen, no matter what. Didn't matter if he was small. Didn't matter if he had muscles. Yeah. that's what he was going to do because that's his character. Same right. with Spider Man. He's this nerd who learns that he has to be responsible. He gets these powers. He doesn't know what else to do with them, and he gets to be smart. And he wins because he's smart. He doesn't win because he's got the superpowers. He wins because he's smart. And like those, th- those things are the things that they stick with, and that's why Marvel movies end up being good. Whereas DC is like, okay, well, we've got a star, so let's make the star the star of the movie. Right. Hmm. Yeah. Instead let's of going, the on him. hey, yeah. this, there's a world of superpower people who are on their own doing their own thing, and then a huge force comes that is too powerful that for them to beat on their own. Well, now they have to team up. And right. Batman's the smart one, so he figures out how to beat the guy, and then becomes a leader because he has no choice, and he doesn't want his town to come up. You know what I mean? Like these are things that have already happened in Justice League comic books right. that, that you could take from, take from yeah. and adjust a little bit, which right. is what Marvel has done. They've taken everything from the comics and just adjusted just enough to make it work for movies. That's all they did. Yeah, and you know, and, and Warner Brothers, they. You know, they, they think, oh, well, maybe Superman needs to be a darker character and Batman needs to be a lighter character. And, you know, and what this leads down to is in, in 20, 30 years from now, um, all of these characters are going to begin to, to uh, fall into the public domain. And in 20, 30 years, uh, Warner Brothers is going to send lawyers to Congress and they're going to be like, hey, these characters should not go into public domain. We are the stewards of these characters. We have been for years and we should continue to be stewards. And in, uh, I hope that one day they call me and I can go up and, and before Congress, <laughs> and you can fight them. And, and before yeah. Congress, I'd be like, look, there is no reason why WB should be the stewards of Superman and Batman. This is they Mrs. have a, a, Washington a, right a right now. history, yeah, like, yeah. They have well, a history well, yeah. of, of, of shitting on these characters. They clearly have no idea who they are. And, you know, I, I believe that once these characters fall into the public domain, that is when we will get these amazing 
Superman and Batman stories. It's like, like, it's like asking the South like, to be in charge of immigration. Right, like you pitched yourself as like the mom of the murdered child who's like going to like speak against the killer at his parole hearing. Absolutely. I can't wait to see your old ass dude. This is 30 years right. now walking I, I, a fucking uh, extremely ornate cane. Pulling out, pulling yeah. out a oh. letter. And oh, yes, man. Uh, you know, you just have just, one now. Yeah. Oh, that would be amazing. You should get a cane. <laughs> You know, you should uh, have a cane. Yeah. You know, yeah. once, yeah. once I once I break a leg or something, I'll I'll, I'll carry. Nah, it. man, just do it just anyway. Grab. Hide a sword in it, which is oh, super that'd illegal. Be, that'd be that'd be pretty sweet. I have nunchucks, which are totally illegal. <laughs> <laughs> Can you hide in a cane? <laughs> By the way, <laughs> it's I don't a cane have that nunchucks. turns into nunchucks. Yeah. That'd be pretty sweet. Ooh. That would be amazing. Yeah. God. Um, all right. Well, like, I think watch Zach I think that we've, we've we've come to the end of the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we did it. Yeah. So, guys, thank you so much for coming out. Thanks, Thanks for having. Us. Um, so, Ron, where can people find you and your work? Uh, Ron Swallow on the Facebooks uh, mm-hmm. at Dorky Swallow. I'm actually going to be in the next couple of months. I'm going to be making two different podcasts. I'm going to redo Angry Dorks. Oh, I'm going to bring back Angry Dorks, which is a podcast I did a while back, and then I'm also going to do one called uh, How I Lost It. Which is comedians talking about how they lost their virginity and mm. crazy sex stories. Okay, so, okay. So, but that's okay. in a that'll be in a few months. That's great. All right. That's awesome. And then in a year, maybe six months, I'm going to do my special called uh, 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 "Way of the Nerd." Way of the Nerd. I'm in gonna, six months. Yeah, I'm going to try to film it at the New Art Theater. Ooh, yeah, okay, yeah, awesome. It's going to be a multimedia. And then go to Rocky Horror. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, yeah. I know all the Rocky Horror people, so they were willing to oh, work with so me and help me out. Oh, man. Sweet. Well, then, uh, six months we'll uh, we'll definitely catch up, and uh, we'll want to see that. Uh, Kyle, where can people find you and your work? Uh, you can find um, you can find uh, my podcast Rock and Roll Cheeseburger at rockandrollcheeseburger.com. You can find that there. You can also uh, see the next season is in the works. We are we are we are. We are endeavoring mightily to make it happen. Uh, I've got a rock and roll band um, that I'm that I'm playing with called Foe. We uh, we are we are uh, like friend or foe. Mm-hmm. Oh, like, like, oh, like, 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 like a oh, see, I went with like Fohawks, like like yeah, you're saying, right. Yeah. See? Yeah. see, maybe it needs a little more work, guys. Let's think <laughs> about it. But uh, we are we are uh, trying to put together an album right now. Doing a lot of stuff with that. Um, in six months, you might see us at uh, South by Southwest. So, Ooh. Maybe, 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 you say rock and roll burger? Cheese rock and roll cheeseburger. Cheese burger. Rock and Not roll to cheese. be confused with uh, uh, what pizza, pizza polka music? Pizza uh, polka music, what's that? Yeah, oh, it's, it's another, it's, it's, I think it was like a rip off of your uh, podcast. Yeah. yeah. Or, or R&B yeah. BLT. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's yeah. a good one so too. That's, you? that's it, that's the one. That's the one, yeah, rock and roll cheese cheeseburger. Burger. That's right. So that's what I'm doing right now. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, Brittany, where could people oh, find man. you? Oh man! So work? you can find me uh, Twitter at uh, Knups Knups. Oh yeah, we well, need Twitter. And Instagram plugin. is Miss Georgia O'Queef. And I've got uh, actually the next Loose Lips is going to be September 22nd at Arbar. The theme is Teen Angst. Whoa! What? Yeah. I'll go it's check that great. out. Great. We're going to talk about being teenagers and how gross it was. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. Good times. Uh, so you, we will have another episode uh, September. And then we've got Kamikaze, and then we'll do October, uh, I mean November and December back here at the Hollywood Improv, and that will be that will conclude season seven of Comics on Comics. Whoa. And I'm definitely now. Uh, you guys have seen this brand new camera. This fancy. this new uh, this fancy. episode was shot with this new camera, and uh, season eight of Comics on Comics. I'm already working hard on it, and uh, it should be a lot of fun. Um, you know, I'm, I'm. Is Vito ever going to be on one of these? Is Is Vito going to be back? He came in and fucks up the camera. The Vito, <laughs> yeah. Vito is uh, Vito's. Uh, he's taking care of some people. Oh yeah. boy, you know? concrete boots. Huh? He's uh, you know he's out doing some things yeah. with some people. I won't say nothing. And uh, but he'll be back soon enough. Okay, cool. And uh, I know I'm looking forward to, to having him back here. Um, and I'm sure you guys are also. Um, you can find Comics on Comics on Instagram, on Twitter, on Facebook. If you like us on Facebook, next time we go live, you will see us. Uh, you will get a, a, a note. Um, October will be at Kamikaze. I will be doing a lot of different uh, um, uh, videos from there. If you saw some of our Comic-Con coverage, San Diego Comic-Con coverage, we'll be doing more of that stuff. Um, yeah, and... Uh, oh, I should also say I'll be doing stand-up at Kamikaze. Oh, okay, great. Yeah, so you'll, you'll have a, a panel at Kamikaze uh, with comics and comics yep. again? Oh. Yes, every oh. yes. Very cool. Um, yeah, and then uh, hopefully I will be able to announce my panel um, soon enough. I guess sub- mid-September they're going to announce. By the way, let me say, 
that if you haven't gone to a comics on comics panel, I've been to them quite a few times, and they're excellent. You always do a great job. Oh, Those panels are always entertaining. That's such a great mix of of uh, the actual comic book artists or people involved in comic properties, and then comedians who host it. They're hilarious. Yeah, uh, done a great this, job. The, well, thank you. Um, this comic cosy, we're, we're having an executive producer from a, a superhero TV show and a couple comedians. So, you know, I, I, I'm looking forward to announcing that show in a couple weeks. Um, I need to book it officially before I say anything, because the last thing I want to do is announce it and then be like, mm, you don't got a show. Um, <laughs> no, swear. So, uh, thank you, everybody. This has been Comics on Comics, the show where the greatest comic minds meet the greatest minds in comics. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and we're done. Yeah.